Hi, Gemini, and welcome to your September 2023 read. Okay, let's get started. This read is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. One more shuffle. Okay, let's get started. Gemini. This, what is fair and just to you? Some of you feel like, it may be that some of you feel like things need to be more balanced in your world, right? In your life in general. We're going to take both those cards as the wheel turns. Look at this. Look at how beautiful this is. So as we, as I'm, as I'm taping this in the end of August for the September read, we have this uncertainty of right um we have this uncertainty but the full super moon is happening the last week in august right which is happening this week or the in, over the weekend okay so as i'm taping this at the end coming up to this full super moon in pisces we need to feel our way through any confusion or any injustices or anything that is causing you to to want to balance out what it is at this point in time right now as i'm do, um, filming this you're doing you're doing everything you can to just stay calm right use your intuition keep your strength Silence is golden. I feel silence is important right now. Your strength of your resolve is in your silent. The silence that you hold. Making no moves, right? We're, we don't make moves when we're in silent mode. Whatever is fair and just will obviously show up, and it does, as you see. The wheel, the karmic wheel is the Pisces full supermoon. It's all about getting that wheel to turn again, and we start over. And this time, Gemini, it's beautiful because you're starting over in the mode of Queen of Pentacles. Are you kidding? It's beautiful. Owning, owning it. Owning it, whatever it means to you. Owning your strength of intuition, using using that strength and, and that leads up to a new karmic cycle beginning in the month of September. Strength, being childlike, knowing it's time to really press your foot full full metal right like not not full metal jacket or whatever no going full speed ahead in your creations in your co-creating knowing your worth letting others see your worth as you maintain a level of complete feminine masculine balance i know it was full metal jacket are you kidding that's not what i'm saying trust me okay what we have here is a beautiful depiction of going with your intuition using your intuition being silent and knowing that things always work out and balance themselves out. Once this wheel turns, um, the old cycle is out and a new cycle begins for you. And that, that in turn tells you rightfully that you are empowered. And not egoically, because the peacock's not spreading, spreading, you know, when, when a peacock flutters their wings and opens up it's like look at me see me you know etc 
This peacock is not. So you're very much in your own power, but in a way that is knowing your power, not having to show it off. Even though others see you as being empowered, it's not, a sh it's not of a showmanship type of power. It's a very silent power. Okay, I'm going to use the vice versa deck for, for more of the storyline. Let's get to it. Gemini, this is beautiful. You know, you're balancing your masculine and feminine. Um, the masculine and feminine is balancing out. And by time you, this wheel turns in the month of September, let's say even October, things you're going to see the slightest changing, changing, changes, changing of the guards, right? Okay. And there you have it, right? The balance, the six. Okay. The six, the balancing of what's right, what's, what feels right, what is right. I'm looking out to make sure that when I am utilizing my time and energy, I'm going to create what I'm creating. You utilizing my time and energy is going to, it's not about the payoff, even though it's here, it's about being, being smart and knowing that you're being guided toward, right? This person, the feminine's not looking. The masculine is, is definitely, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, his head is down, right? He knows. The masculine and feminine know that you're being guided by spirit to make the decisions that are required in order for you to achieve and attain a new cycle. That you've done your due diligence. You've done that. You've shown spirit. You know, in in the in the course of time, like since June, let's say, throughout the, the last whatever, since June, few months, you have been able to go with the flow. You've been able to keep your resolve. And that is so important. It is because, you know, how we react to chaos, how we react to others who are in chaos means, do we hold steady? And once you can attain that, there's, you know, that's a, that's a, a silent strength that is not controlling others, but controlling the self. So we have, right, we've had issues in love relationships for sure here. Like what's fair for some of you, right? Of course, it's not going to resonate with all, but what is fair and just in relationships? Who does what? Who's putting in more effort? Who's not? Is it fair? They're reversed. So apparently there's a conflict, right, of interest whereby it's like, well, who's doing what? Who's putting in any effort? Not only effort, but monetarily speaking. Is this a fair deal? Are you, Gemini, feeling like you're not getting a fair deal? with a loved one, a lover, etc. And how is it going to change? Is is it going to be a collaboration? Do we need to collaborate? We'll put it right here. Are we going to collaborate with others in launching a new idea, a new business? You look like you are definitely going toward that, but I I, they've had me move it here when I really wanted to ask, which I didn't understand that. So let me ask about the lovers reversed. This could be a situation of what's fair and just 
in so far as are we judging others because they're not putting in the time and effort that you are. That's what it is. This is time and effort. Are we going to, well, Spirit saying, let's not judge others. Because as we judge others or others judge us, we are judging ourselves. So keep poised. They're saying poised. Keep yourself poised. Knowing, knowing with that, with the scales being balanced, knowing that everything will balance itself out, even though maybe right now at this point in time, the last week of August, you're feeling very uncertain, uneasy, and others are perhaps judging you for your sense of strength and resolve in silence. Let's keep going. I mean, that's what happens. Right? People want to say, oh, well, forgiveness. Someone may come in and say, forgive me for, you know, I'm feeling a little uneasy. I haven't put in my fair share. I've been feeling a little off, you know, gray. Not Mr. Gray. I think someone's been feeling very much out of sorts. Right? Because the scales need to be balanced. When we have a, 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 a situation where we have, right, maybe two people, we also have family, we have kids, right? Like, is one person not putting in the effort as the other is. You know, that's how the Six of Pentacles is reversed. That's why. Because the scales need to be balanced and they're not. Because someone doesn't want to entertain, perhaps feeling uncomfortable about entertaining, you know, maybe you with a child or them with a child or or what have you. But this is forgive forgive. Forgiveness. So maybe it's time to forgive those who cannot, cannot come to the table as a fair, you know, in a fair manner, in, in, you know, in a, in a relationship. If it's not fair, then, you know, forgive them and, you know, you may just need to move on. Seven of Swords reversed. Someone, Gemini, does not see the value that you bring to the table. He's got, out of Seven of Swords, the Five of Swords is, Five Swords are in his in his possession that's negative thinking that's i'm trying to get away with something but i know i it's not going to work especially not on a gemini the seven of swords the two the two swords that remain is the impetuous knowledge that one has of Listen, I know what you're doing. Listen, I know that you're trying to get away with stuff. I know that you're not putting in your fair share, but I'm not going to be the one to tell you. That too. Okay, let's get another card on uh, Seven of Swords reversed. See that? I'm not going to tell you how to manage a household, because you should know. A spouse, a significant person that is in your life should know. This situation calls for a fair outcome. The outcome that needs to be fair doesn't necessarily mean that we, that you, Gemini, 
or anyone else should judge another for what they do, how they put in their time, what they do with their time, etc. But at the heart of the matter, you know, you already know. You know, Gemini, what gives you peace. You know what gives you happiness and joy. And you are going to follow your own path, your own path of this happiness and joy. No matter if someone feels like, you know, if they, there's forgive, forgive me because I'm not putting in, I'm not putting enough money into the household. I'm not bringing in money. I'm not sharing my feelings with you. I'm not talking. I mean, it's just, it's just somewhat chaotic here, right? So let's look. The wheel then change is going to change things, right? Someone doesn't feel like they can own up to their fair share of what they may be signed up for in a relationship, a marriage, a live-in, whatever. But this person has, has no idea. This person is just holding his head like, what do I do? The masculine is like, what do I do now when there's so many pentacles right here? But the pentacles means change. There are five. Someone needs to change. Well, that looks like to me that whomever you're dealing with, the masculine is feeling very uneasy about the financial situation and how am I going to level out the playing field? Spirit's going to intervene. If you're unhappy with your situation right now, Gemini, know that Spirit's got your back. Your strength of resolve, your courage, your ability to find peace in the chaos is going to pay off and change and change then the wheel of that strength, of that your, your time is now and allowing yourself to remain true to your own feelings and and settling like this is how she took the scales and she's she's like mixing right she's mixing the the waters she's cleansing the waters and that's what this angel a spirit guide an angel is helping to cleanse the waters of someone's inability to see themselves for for what they can bring to the table, not for what they don't bring to the table, right? Look at that. Ten of Cups reversed. So we it the relationship used to look like this, right? We're on the beach, everything's really great. And then suddenly there's a void where the feminine, you can see the feminine above there, has flourished. The feminine has become, is coming out of a lotus flower. She is the one changing. The reflection that one sees when looking at the situation is, is that the feminine has attained a very calm, calm resolve in, especially in the time of chaos or someone who is, is withholding their feelings, their money, whatever they can and cannot bring to the table in a family dynamic, right? You're holding back. Because your strength is in, and your power is in the silence. All right, Ten of Cups reverse, what's that? That's why. This is exactly why. Look at this. 
the masculine is feeling like they don't make enough money and the feminine has the money. You see the queen of, queen of, um, queen of pentacles right here. This mask, this feminine is going places. So if you've been working on launching, on, on, you know, whatever you're launching, whatever your heart speaks to you, spirits guiding you, because you have attained a certain level of understanding, understanding where you, your worth, where others don't understand your worth because they don't feel worthy. Someone doesn't feel worthy to be in this situation. And Spirit says, well, you know what, Gemini? You've held your own. And you just keep going. And no matter what, you, Gemini, have ascended. You, you have become the lotus flower. You're going to do whatever it is in your power, right? To not entertain the people that don't see you for your worth. And potentially want to judge, you know, this, right? If it's a lover, if it's a live-in, Someone doesn't like that the, the, the scales are not balanced with the justice card coming out. Sorry. The justice card coming out is the first card in right, right here. They don't like that you're in charge. They don't, it's not, they don't like, it's that they're very uncomfortable because they're not comfortable in their own skin, but you are. And that's where this balance comes in. <laughs> of the justice card, right? What's fair and just? What? Does does it always mean, Gemini, that the man needs to be the empowering, you know, one of the household? No. But this man doesn't feel worthy of himself, not of you. This this guy. Okay? So now let's keep going. The king of pentacles you see that the masculine says why is the feminine in charge and i'm in the backdrop absolutely he doesn't see her and when he does see her he feels really uncomfortable because she's got the cup the the she's got the the worthiness of her own self. She is financially independent and he is not. So that's, that is where the imbalance of where karma is going to step in, right? This is the full super moon in Pisces karma 12th house. It's going to have to change because this man doesn't like that he's not in charge because he doesn't have the financial ability, capability, whatever. He feels much more less than. And men don't, men that are still in a very egoic frame of mind end up not wanting to root for the other side, right? Of the, the feminine, because they, they want to be in charge. What are you going to do? Times have changed. So that's why this balance, this is justice. Injustice for all. How does that play out for the masculine who doesn't feel like it's justified <laughs> that he's not in charge because he doesn't have, he doesn't hold the power of the dollar. 
but truly the power is of the ego. Because when someone really is unconditionally loving you, Gemini, and seeing, they see your worth and value. They don't have hidden agendas and they understand that you have ascended to your own, to your own level of worth. And the love that someone wants and sh should be giving you is, should be, should be fair. You know, if you're the feminine right now, Gemini, and you're like holding your own ground and you're empowered and you're going places for sure, you're going places and the masculine doesn't like it and you're not doing anything about it because there's nothing to do. This masculine has to figure it out for themselves. But in the meantime, in the meantime, there is no reason for you to demean, judge, irritate, because that person does it all themselves. Okay? This is financial freedom. You have financial freedom. And someone does not. That doesn't make it any better, any right, or what have you. And here's the masculine. Feeling like head down and not wanting to look not looking up, head down, he's at a nine, he's got like another, another one to go through in order to what, maybe realize, I don't know, this is a wounded warrior, he's got pains that maybe he has not spoken of, or he's the painful truth of what you bring to the table is very difficult. Look at the masculine is a nine of wands and the feminine is a nine of pentacles. Do you understand? And that one pentacle is coming up. So September, October, Gemini is soaring, feminine. And the masculine has got his head down taking a back seat, not feeling, not feeling right, not feeling good about themselves. Gemini, feminines, you cannot worry about, you can only have compassion and send love to those who don't see your value. That's all you can do. There's no fighting involved. There's no fighting here. This is just a quiet resolve of what's fair and just. And when you're dealing with the mas a masculine who probably at one time, because this is reversed, probably at one time looked very comfortable in their own skin, very happy, very successful. But through the course of time, things changed and they're just literally fighting for their own, fighting for themselves. They need to heal. They're fighting their own battle. Do you understand that, Gemini? They're fighting an internal battle of their own, of their own full moon, full super moon in Pisces, of their own karmic, karma, the wheel. They're fighting their own battles while you're standing out in the crowd. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's not easy for any man. I'm not saying, you know, this is not the Barbie movie, but in, inadvertently that is somewhat, if you've seen the movie, you will understand that a man does not feel empowered 
when they're wounded and when they're trying to to gain rank and they can't. Gaining rank, there you go. So it comes from childhood, right? These are belief systems that that are learned behaviors from childhood whereby, right? You know, who's going to who's going to feel like you know like they're gaining power but they're doing you're doing it Gemini in a way that is very soothing to one's soul. Do you understand? You're going for the gold. You're going for the crown. But you don't necessarily have to wear the crown because you have a crown already of your own that's not massive, like, you know, egoic. You know what I mean? His face, I find this interesting in this vice versa deck that the Hierophant's face is like all gray. Why? You know what I mean? Almost to the point of like an alien. A human turns alien or an alien, hu alien human kind of. Why? Because that's the spirit, right? It's silver. It is the, it is an under, underlying ranking that is spiritual, not egoic. Do you understand? You know, the crown is like massive, right? But his face is gray, which is silver, which is spirit, right? Underneath the 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 um, robes are the blue of spirituality and all love. Understand. But it's this, you have attained, you have attained your ascension, you've gone through the dark night of the soul, you've done your due diligence, Gemini. So you're not going to allow anyone to confuse you, conflict you, or even disappoint because you're, you're, you've raised, you raise your vibration by being silent. You raise your vibration by taking this ranking to a whole new level of, you know, I'm very humbly and blessed and, you know, grateful for all of this instead of the egoic part of it. And that's why this Hierophant in this deck looks like this. Some of you are going to be speaking in public about your teachings, about learning what you have learned. That could be the Ace of Pentacles, which I will, I'll look into in a minute. But this is a humbling, this is humbling, humbling yourself, even though you know where you stand. And that's why it's the queen and not the king. The king is reversed. If it were the king, it would be more egoic, right? I'm sorry, but it's that is, for many, very difficult for the, the feminine to be in the spotlight and the masculine to be in the backdrop. And it could mean that someone really does support your, your, your efforts and your, your new beginnings, etc., but that doesn't mean they're not hurting inside. Okay, let's get another card, please. See, you're going to have like a shitload of opportunities. And or maybe the masculine's looking at new opportunities. Let's look and see if this is, because this is a masculine. This could be the nine of wands to the seven of cups, you know. Let me see, is this the masculine or the feminine coming out? It's the masculine. Opportunities missed. Sorry. It feels like an opportunity that 
a masculine has missed. Ten of Wands is reversed. So this masculine has missed opportunities in his life, right? Your person, the person, your lover, your living, your whoever, has missed opportunities to maybe make that money. Do you know what I mean? Or gave the money up to others for whatever reasons. The money's, you know, this person feels like opportunities were missed and now they're hurting inside. The masculine wanted to speak up and tell us why they're feeling less than. And you know, it's just, it's just a mindset. Understand that. All right, let's go back to the Hierophant. The humble, the humble nature of Gemini for the month of September into October and further out is clearly going to be all about you in the spotlight and, and going, being on path. There it is. Thank you. Spirit move me for sure. Spirit is in charge. Well, hello, of course. Spirit's in charge. And you already know this. So that's why you're comfortable in your own skin. And rightfully so. The balancing out of the yin and the yang. The masculine has, taking, has taken a back seat. And masculines don't like to take a back seat, but they're hurting. So what, Gemini, you're doing is we're not going to we're not going to entertain judgments, ignorance, you know, sarcasm, comments that will hurt another. We're going to allow that person to grow on their own and to learn. Because they're nine and ten. They're right at the precipice, probably by October. They may be feeling a little better. Who knows? All right, let's go. There you go. So now we look out, we're looking out to the future. We're looking out at what we're going to create, how we're going to create. This is the, this is the magician. You're allowing spirit to show you the way forward and or the, for the masculine as well. Maybe this is for both because we do have the feminine and the masculine here. Right? Not to be, not to be calling feminine, masculine, but as one, we need to work together. Even though we have very different viewpoints and we see things differently you know, fire and water kind of feel, right? Someone needs to free themselves, feeling stuck. So the masculine may need to free themselves for sure because the feminine already has. So I feel that this is the masculine talking, that they will free themselves by getting downloads or the ability to know that spirit is really in charge, right? This is an eagle. So guess what I'm going to say? <laughs> For the masculine, the eagle must land in order to gain their freedom. Interesting. Look, you have here, you have the masculine and the feminine, right? Right here. Interesting, right? Because then you have on the other side of that dynamic, you have the masculine and feminine here. You see what I'm saying? So we have the same masculine here, feminine here, being driven by spirit, right? However that works, however that looks, and however the road right, that will, um, will 
moving forward, it's, it's not in anyone's hands but spirit, right? Without question. Got it? Okay. So then we have... I mean, I, I do want to... Oh, I'm going a little over here. So here we go. There you are. I guess that's why they said don't stop, right? Because it is... This is all the stars aligning, right? The yin and the yang. All about community. The growth of her hair here is all about the knowledge that you have attained. You have become the star. You are the star, right? And that is exactly what what we're what we're looking at here for the month of September into October and further out. Because okay, let me take this pentacle here, right? Let me take this pentacle and see because this is a collaboration for sure. Right? This is a collab. All right. So let's take let's put this here. You're the star of your own show easily without question. Now let me get two cards after this Ace of Pentacles, right? To what, are we collabing? Is that how it's happening? Is this the new, right? The movement of, right? We're going for it. Look at this, going for it. Are you kidding me? Absolutely. This is full steam ahead without question. Full steam ahead, collabing with others. This is creating and it is it is the night or i'm sorry it's a page I'm, I'm so sorry it's the page so what we're at the beginning creation of new collab collab whatever collaborations that you're working with you're keeping it on the dl without question as you should by the way this is something that you're not sharing, nor should you. Whenever, listen, whenever we know, don't we? We know that when we're making moves, right? When we're collabing with others and in the backdrop of everything that you've gone through and been through as the star now is shining upon you, spirit is moving you to a new level of exposure, you know, the queen of pentacles, hello, right? So you're, you're being seen, you're being heard. Some of you have um, your own following, so to speak, right? Right here. Spirit's going to show you the way forward, right? And in that process, this pentacle means full steam ahead. And we're not going to talk about what the next, perhaps, you know, uh, the next steps with this is written. It's already written. Some of you are researching, doing research. This is, she's reading. She's reading her, her innate future. She already knows. She knows, right? And now look at, this is interesting. They just showed me. Look at this. The masculine is looking at the feminine. Behind the scenes out into the scenes of being, you know, showing the world what you got. Do you know what I'm saying? Beautiful rendition of Geminis who have really been through a lot and who now have attained a level of ascension, which we know is a higher level of consciousness. Congrats to those who are, this resonates with. This is a beautiful um, time for you. Enjoy it, for sure, without question. Spirit has led you to this. You have the Hierophant and the High Priestess. Are you kidding me? Look. Look at this. Do you see what I'm saying? I mean, if I, you know, all I had to say was for this entire read, is spirit move me to get me and and you've done it you've done it i i no one's done the work for you you've done the work yourself all right so you should be proud humbly so of course okay and it's beautiful rendition of the outcome card as being the star 
All right, you are a star in the light of a new day. And spirit is taking you literally all the way. Wherever that means, it we don't know. And who, whomever chooses to follow, whoever, whomever chooses to follow will be indeed uh, those may be, they may be just learning. They, that it may be whom, who you, spirit is moving you to those who need the light that have the darkness, the masculine. Okay. All right. I went way over. Oh my God. All the other signs are going to say, yeah, we go, we go for as long as possible as when in any read spirit does move us. Okay. So let's get three of the super cards real quick. First card forgotten, never forgotten. I felt this is, this is, we, we don't ever forget where you come from. Never forget how the road, right? The road that we've taken, the road that we've learned, even when people have forgotten us, we never forget, right? Never forget who you are. Don't forget how hard it is and how difficult of a task it is to ascend to a new level of understanding of higher consciousness. Do not, un do not ever give yourself anything but, you know, humbly, gra humble gratitude to spirit. And here we have, right, the power of that turns into a star. Do you see that? This is, oh my God, this is Kundalini rising. Look at this. Kundalini rising, and then what happens? The star. Because that's how it happens. Sometimes, in order to remember, we must forget. We must not try to put a square peg in a circle hole because we, we know that we're being driven by spirit. We know that, don't we? You know it. Look. Look. And however path and difficulties that you have endured, this is an enduring time not to forget. You can't forget a dark night of the soul. There's just no way. There's no way. And once all of the chakras, right from the base to the crown, open up and explode, which is happening here, which has happened, then you reach the star of your own show, meaning you, you humbly accept your position that spirit has driven you to this point in time. In silence. Oh my God, I love it. Yes, in silence. You are not one to be loud and proud. That is not who I'm talking to here. I'm talking to those to those who have gone through the dark night of the soul, who have forgotten, perhaps at one time were lost in the shuffle, forgot who they were, have gone through the dark night, remembered who they are, have attained and achieved the star, the star, a star, their star. They go back to, you go back home, stardom, right? But the stardom is, comes from a very humbling place. It comes in silence. Oh my God, this is off the chain. What a beautiful rendition of where we have started and where we have remembered. Where, have we, where we have forgotten and where we now remember. It's like this, right? As I said, the tides have shifted, forgotten and remembered, right? Never forget where you come from, my beautiful Geminis, right? Never. It has been a very arduous journey, but nonetheless, very rewarding. I send you so much love, light, and blessings. Oh my God, if this relates to you, please comment. Okay. I'm here for you.
Take care and have a great month.